Hey, what's up, everybody? In these days of quarantine, I was thinking it would be nice to spend some time picking apart a few Jerry Garcia solos and add them to the website. And uh, through the Facebook group, I had a request to do something a bit on the simpler side, and the suggestion was this great version of Peggio. Uh, it's from Hartford, May 5th, 1977, a fine week in the history of the Grateful Dead. And uh, it really is a beautiful little solo, uh, surprisingly simple in some ways. Uh, I think the best thing for me to do is just to play it here, and then I'll talk about it afterwards. And um, I decided the best way to do it, I hope this is okay, was to make a backing track and play the solo by myself instead of trying to play along with the recording of the song. Uh, I thought that might make it a little cleaner and easier to hear, so that's how I'm going to do it. I hope this works out for you. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I think that was pretty close. I'm not necessarily a stickler for getting super dead-on accurate with a transcription of a solo that was improvised in the first place. I think it's obviously much more useful to just sort of get the gist of the solo, try to get an idea of where the lines in the solo are coming from, and try to get a little bit into the head of the guy who played the solo. So the first thing that really stands out to me as I look at this transcription is that probably 90% or more of the notes in this solo come straight out of the pentatonic scale. I don't think of Garcia first and foremost as a very pentatonic player, but in this case, very much pentatonic. And that kind of leads me to the next point that I would want to make, which is that this solo very much consists of pieces of the melody of the song. And of course, that's a big feature of Garcia's playing in general. He really very often tried to keep his solos rooted in the melody of the song. And really, since the days of jazz, that's been true for all great improvisers. The improvisation really comes from the melody first and foremost. And that's really especially true with a song with such a beautiful melody like Peggio. Um, the melody itself, I was kind of surprised when I kind of picked it out. I was surprised to find that the melody is literally 100% in the pentatonic scale. So it would make sense then that Garcia would play the solo based out of the pentatonic scale. There might be a few chords within the progression that have notes in them that are not part of the pentatonic scale, but none of those notes appear in the melody. The melody is straight pentatonic. And that's actually true for a lot of great famous melodies. They're really in the pentatonic scale. I don't know what it is about that scale, but it just sounds good all the way around. So you can make a couple of generalizations about Garcia's approach to playing the melody and how he kind of handles it. 
we'll sort of start a phrase by playing something very close to the melody. And then at the end of that phrase, he might fill the space at the end of the phrase with something that's more like from the scale or just straight up licks from the pentatonic scale, that kind of thing. Um, so that's one approach you can take, like start a line, start a phrase of your solo with a piece of the melody but end it with something a bit more of a flourish, right, to make it a little more interesting. You can also take that melody and kind of embellish on it a little bit, add a few notes here and there. All of those notes can still come from the same scale. And that's a good way to approach it too when you're kind of trying to create something that's a bit more lively than the melody itself. So I have a few PDFs that I'm going to uh, put links to in the description of this video. And uh, one will be the transcription of the solo itself, just clean with nothing on it. Uh, another one will be an annotated version of the solo where I add a few notes to it, kind of making a few observations and pointing out where I see the melody. And then the last thing I will upload is actually just a transcription of the melody itself because I think that would be a very helpful thing for you too. Um, again, that's super important to be able to play the melody of a song before you even bother playing a solo. And really, more than the scale or the chords, certainly in a song like this with a beautiful melody, the melody should inform your solo more than the scale and chords. So start by playing the melody the way I had it tabbed out, see if you can memorize it, and then what I would really recommend doing is trying to take that same melody and figure out how many different ways you can play it and how many different positions on the neck of the guitar, different octaves, etc. Right, that really is a good exercise for your ear, is learning how to find a melody wherever you happen to be on the neck of the guitar.